Israel. Now that seemed like a good name to some. But I think we need to study how that name came into existence. Y'all all right? Me too. In the book of Genesis, you have the story of Rebecca. who was married to Isaac or Ishak and she was barren and Isaac prayed and asked God to let Rebecca both of them young get pregnant and she did but it was a strange kind of pregnancy because the scripture says Rebecca listen Two nations are within your womb. I'm going to look at that nation and what a nation is. But there will be two nations in the womb of one woman. That's heavy. But well, we got to interpret that to understand what that means. But then it goes on. It says, two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Two manner of people. Manner means two kinds. Two kinds. Then it says, when the babies were born, they were fighting in the womb. They was tussling. And Esau came first, but Jacob had a hold to his heel and was pulling on his heel. I'm going to go after that. Let me put, let me put heel up here. I just needed God to help me get through this one today. <laughs> I don't know when I'll be back, but drink deep while I'm here. Because there's not one word that I'm saying that's wasted. So pay attention because it's going to get right down to you in one second. No, a couple of minutes. Huh? Okay, thank you. My brother watching, pull your pocket handkerchief up. <laughs> Is it up high enough, Chief? <laughs> well, that's right. You got your brothers watching out for you. You're looking mighty handsome yourself, brother. <laughs> okay. All right. You all ready? Two manner of people, two kinds, will be separated from your bowels. They were tussling. Out came Esau first. Then came Jacob. But Jacob had a hole to the heel of Esau. Trace that heel back to the third chapter of Genesis where the serpent has deceived Eve. And God now is pronouncing a curse on the serpent. And it said that the seed of the woman will contend with the seed of the serpent. I better put that up here. A woman and a serpent.
And he said that the serpent would bruise his heel. So the woman is not really a woman. It's a man, but he's styled as a woman. No, no, not a homosexual. No, no, I'll get to that in a minute. And the woman would bruise the head of the serpent. This was prophesied way back in the Genesis. Now, let's see what it means. Here's Esau. He's hairy. And Jacob seems smooth. And this dude, Jacob, he'd been working some stuff. Because Esau goes out, and since he's first, the birthright falls on Esau. And so he gets hungry. And his brother got some food. And he says, Brother Esau, look, man, I'm, I'm hungry. You've got some food. Would you give me something to eat? And here's how Jacob comes back. He said, yeah, I'll give you some food if you give me your birthright. Now that's kind of snakeified, isn't it? He know Esau is first and the blessing should be with Esau, but now he wants to steal Esau's birthright. Right, I'm coming to something. So, Isaac gets old now. He's about to die. And he calls Esau. He says, Esau, my days are short. He said, but I want you to go and get some venison and cook it because I'd like to taste your meat, and when you bring me the meat that you have prepared, I will then give you your blessing. But Rebecca, she was listening, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she favored Jacob. So she says to Jacob, 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 your dad is about to give Esau the blessing here's what you do you go on out and you get some venison I'll get some and cook it up and you take it in to your father before your brother can get back so that you can get the blessing that was due to your brother it'll come to you so Jacob said well wait a minute mom come on if I do that, you know, I'll be a party to deceit. And uh, she said, yeah. She said, but I'm, I'm smooth and my brother's hairy and, 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 and I can't fool daddy like that. She said, leave it to me. She went and got some of Esau's clothes and put it on him. She got some hairy thing and put it on his hands. And she gave him the meat. And he goes in and he speaks to his father. Is this you? He says, Esau. He said, yes, it's me, father. He said, you, you sound like Jacob. He said, no, it is I, father. I have brought you the meat that you requested. Come and eat. Fathers, well, come closer, you know what I mean? He eats the meat and he calls the boy forward. And the boy got on his brother's clothes so he has the smell of his brother. The father's sight going, but he smells him. But then he said, give me your hand. And he touches his hand and he feels the hair. Then he pronounces the blessing. And what is the blessing? You're going to rule. Right. You're going to rule the nations. 
They all will be your servant. You will rule. Then Esau comes in with the venison. And he, he said, Father, I bring you. He said, but, oh my God. But I can't take my blessing back. I gave it to your brother. He said, but isn't there, isn't there some blessing left for me? He said, well, son, you're going to have to serve your brother. He said, but in the final analysis, the yoke of your brother will be broken. I can't give you no blessing right now. I gave it to your brother, but your blessing